All right, Lumberjacks and Lumberjills, get ready because this is a big construction update and it is split into two parts. This is only part one. Part two is coming in just a bit and it is packed with information. Um, Jasm from YouTube and I were at the park together today and we have quite the update for you guys today. So go grab a snack, go sit down, get comfortable because this update is big. So, as you know, my construction updates have been a little lackluster. There hasn't been much going on, um, but today proved otherwise. So it was extremely, so right when I got there, it was like right off to the bat, stuff going on. So as you can see, there's something missing, the construction trailer. So the construction trailer has been moved and this um, adds up with my theory that, so you see the station area there and it's gonna turn out of the station curve down like every dive coaster does and then go into the lift hill. So here we have one of the footers I was talking about earlier. It's finally uncovered. There's a giant hole there and there's other holes that lead in a curve away from the station. So I do strongly believe I was right about that, that there's going to be a curved part out of the station like we always see on a dive coaster and the lift hill is going to be pushed really far back. So we do know, or at least we are getting closer to knowing that this lift hill is actually going to be really long. Um, which is super exciting. Um, so I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping with more and more information, this is proving this whole really tall dive coaster concept. As you can see, there's a massive footer, or sorry, massive rebar cage back there. So that's definitely the start of the uh, lift hill that's ready to go. And you can see the big hole that's covered there. That's where that's going. So I do, again, I don't know because I don't have blueprints, but I do know from what I'm seeing the start of the lift hill and it adds up to the 105 meters long lift hill. Not not tall, long. Um, because I do know also with the other footer, biggest footer on the construction site, that's probably where the lift hill ends. It matches up with the tunnel and everything. So this is really exciting because um, I wasn't too sure about that and now I really am. Um, so they are done. The pathway is done. Um, but it is closed still, but they're, all the work's done. Nothing was nothing was being uh, touched up on that pathway at all. But keep watching because there is something weird that happens on this construction site in just a bit. Keep watching. Um, so here the construction trailer has been moved um, and you're gonna see them just putting it into its final place. Um, they're moving it because obviously the lift hill and turn of the station construction is going to start. Um, the footers are not done. There's lots of rebar cages or rebar that needs to be turned into rebar cages and then put in the ground and cement or concrete poured in. I know anyone working in construction is probably cringing at my terminology right now. Feel free to drag me in the comments and like teach me uh, how to actually talk about this stuff because I really don't know how and I would like to because I hate it. Um, I hate not knowing all the terminology and I would really like to. So here they are removing all the um, the forklifts. Those are not forklifts. Again, drag me in the comments, teach me what these are called. I think they're called cherry pickers or something. Off of the site, they are done all the kind of like temporary theming on this um, pathway they built. Um, they're moving everything into this area and there are there is a lot of activity going on. Lots of elect electrical wires and stuff being put into place. I'm really interested to see what it's for. So here they are cleaning this side of the construction um, site. They're picking up anything that doesn't belong, garbage, wires, loose ends, um, stuff like that and removing it. So that's a sign that this is probably gonna begin construction on this side. There's not, there, I think there's like just a couple of footers on this side of the construction site. So they're gonna get started on that. So there you can see column 91. Um, C91, we know that on um, stakes and all that, C stands for column. That was column 91 left. Um, I know that's what that means because it was the same with Leviathan. So at least for now, we know that there's about 91 support columns on this coaster. That's a lot. That's a lot for a dive coaster. And I don't know if that's the last column. So there could be in the hundreds uh, columns for this coaster, which is super exciting. I keep getting more and more excited about this project as it passes. And I really hope you guys are too. I hope these updates aren't getting, you know, repetitive or too boring um, because it just seems like each day there is actually something new and it's exciting. I will not make an update if, unless it, like, if it's just typical. So don't worry about that. Those won't be coming out. But as you can see, Hartwell Construction, you're gonna see it, our Hartwell Electrical is on site and you're gonna see later on, 
just how many chart oil trucks are there. There's a lot of activity going on on the construction site today, and they're obviously getting ready for you know, the stationary in my opinion, but there's also a lot of Hartwell activity going on near Timberwolf on the splash path. And if any of you remember my other updates, I actually think there's going to be a lot of buildings leading from Timberwolf Falls to the entrance of Splashworks. I think we're gonna see some unique theming similar to that at Cedar Point when you're in like the little like Cedar Creek mine ride area and like, you know, the little Pioneer Village, whatever they call it. it I, it's like slipping my mind right now and I, I make these videos live, like, um, but yeah, so as you can see here, there's some weird markings on the pillars, uh, vortex that match up with some of the support um, and footers for this new coaster. It's really weird. STN, 7, and then 573, and then there's 571 on some other. So it's really weird. I, I'm starting to think this has something to do with theming. Like, are, are they going to, like, theme some of these pillars? I. I know we saw some tree trunks, like plastic or like um, decal tree trunks in like the Splashworks area that look like they could actually fit around a support beam. I'm starting to think that maybe that could be that. I don't know. Like I'm really lost in terms of this. So what do you guys think that this could be? Like STN and a number on the footers for the whatever this coaster is going to be and STN and number on Vortex's supports. What do you possibly think it could be? Um, so. The, the Timberwolf is a, an extremely interesting subject um, when it comes to this new coaster project. We know Timberwolf's personal bubble has been popped and this new coaster is all up in its space. Um, so that leads a lot of, you know, a lot. there was a lot of chatter about, is it going to go? Is it going to stay? Um, I, I know before, you know, I was one of the people that maybe thought it would go, but with a lot of work going on, I really don't think it's going anywhere. And it is a really popular attraction whenever the sun's out. I mean, people even ride this thing in like the extreme cold. So if, I don't know if you guys can tell, it was really cold today. People are still riding it. So I don't think this attraction's going anywhere. So if you remember my update yesterday or the Saturday, I talked about the decals being removed from all the garbage bins. Um, if you go around the park, they are being removed from every garbage bin in the um, park. And that's Canada's Wonderland's like logo. Really interesting. If you also remember, there were these Canadian themed barrels and splash ricks that I caught, and they are actually being placed out in this new Canadian area. Um, so I'm excited to see those in use. And uh, as you just saw in the previous clip, there's one. And I really think they're going all out on this Canadian theming. So um, if you can see here, they removed the light for the Timberwolf sign. I don't know if that means anything, but the light that shines on Timberwolf Falls sign at night has been removed. I'm running out of breath from all this talking. <laughs> so this is just an overall shot of, you know, the construction trail that's been shipped off to the uh, south end of the, or north end of the construction site. These are the station footers. And then you have these new footers. Well, they've always been there. They were just covered up that suggest a turn. So either a brake run coming into the station or the turn out of the station like you always see in a dive coaster. So this is what I think it is. And then that big footer for the start of the lift hill. That is my biggest, or that's my um, honest analysis of what this could possibly be. Um, trying to think, oh, so they were bringing in wood. I don't know what that's for, but they were bringing in like some really nice timber onto the construction site. Um, so I don't know if they're starting theming already or what. This construction project is super weird. Everyone I talk to about it, it's just like um, such a weird like thing going on. Um, but yeah, it's just like this was even weirder. So Splashworks is already open, people. Splashworks opened last weekend and they are sanding and taking off the paintwork and some of the wood on this Splashworks building. These are the change rooms and they kind of don't fit into this new Canadian theme anymore. It doesn't blend into this Canadian theme that they're theming Splash Ricks too. So when I saw this today, I was literally like, hmm, are, are they going, like, I thought they would wait until 2019 to retrofit this building. Are they doing it now? Like, are they, are they like gonna spend the next couple of weeks before Splash Ricks is open every day, re-theming this building, maybe painting it in a more appropriate color, or are they just doing a simple touch up? I do think this building needs to be retrofitted to match with the Canadian theming. So, I mean, why not um, do it now or, you know, for the 2019 season? I do think the roof color is going to stay the same. So, because as you just saw, the new Timber Kits building right next door is the same color roof. So I don't think that's going anywhere. I just think that we may, we may see some Canadian timber or 
you know, lumber type thing on the outside retrofitted with something like that. That would look really nice. And I think we may see the surfboard kind of like theme to Splash Ricks disappear. And maybe even a new name for 2019. Who knows? What do you guys think is going to happen to Splash Ricks in 2019? Comment below on that because I'm really interested. And I'd like to see what you guys are thinking in terms of that. But, um, yeah. As you're watching, I was there from about 10.30 in the morning to about 5 p.m., I think, around that. And every time I went back to this construction site, something different was happening. And you're about to see something really confusing shortly. Um, something that, like, literally has me, like, so confused. So you can see them here starting it. So they're pouring gravel. I didn't, at this time of shooting, I didn't know what it was for. I thought, oh, okay. You know, sometimes maybe it's like the, the foundation of the station. They just want gravel under it, kind of like Mindbuster. That's what I was thinking at this point. Yeah, some of you might be like, yeah, that's dumb. Why would you think that? I don't blame you for that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they were pouring gravel underneath the station or the footer area. But that was my first thought. But you're about to see what this is for. And it's weird. It's interesting. I'm confused and I want to know um, more about this because it has me confused. So here you see it. So they're building a path. <laughs> They're building a path. They just built a brand new path to Splashworks um, from the old Skyrider entrance. And now they're building another path where the path already used to exist. I'm so confused. Um, so, I mean, it looks like it's going to have something similar to what Valraven had. Like you can walk under Valraven and all that. And that's super cool. Um, so I'm not, I'm not like insulting that idea. But as you can see here, they're definitely getting ready to like start construction in this area again. Um, but you can see the footer, one for probably the lift hill back there, and the path being started again. This is so confusing. Is that, like, what do you guys think is going on? Like, comment below on that too, like for those that want to discuss this. Um, I'm going to try and reply to everyone's comment, um, as I usually do. I really do try to reply to everyone. I strongly believe in there is no such thing as a dumb opinion or a, um, you know, any like someone being wrong. We all have different thoughts and opinions, so I'll, I'll respond to everyone. and engage in some conversation on this because there's nothing more I enjoy than discussing Canada's Wonderland and other theme parks potential projects. So yeah, comment below anything you want to talk about and I will try and respond to everyone. So earlier I talked about all the electricians on site and um, there's a large team. So there's a bunch of vehicles next to Splash Ricks where that Timber Kids building is. There's three vehicles here um, and they're all work like, I'm just like, this is a big project. I am really lost as to what they're doing. I'm not, I'm like lost, I'm excited. I wanna know more. I want the teasing campaign to start. Like I know everyone is excited about the teasing campaign. So like, let's just get it started. I know it's just June and I need to simmer and calm down, but like, I just want to start this teasing campaign. Um, so as I spoke about earlier, here's some of the Canadian theming that's been rolling out slowly and I really like it. Um, what do you guys think about it? I'm really excited to see what this stuff is all about. So there, there's objects in blue tarp that arrived. Um, th that's not blue tarp. I just realized, so as you can see, I filmed this, that's Splashworks fencing. Uh, <laughs> as you see, I filmed this and then like, you know, I don't really like analyze the footage when I'm filming. I kind of analyze it as I go. I like, you know, when I don't like reading off of a script in these YouTube videos. I like kind of like just being myself and reading along. I find that more like relatable and more, you know, fun and unique. So you're not like listening to some robot reading off a script of what he thinks is coming. Like I, I'm learning as you guys are as I go along, right? So that was just a Splashworks fence. Sorry for putting that in there, but I'm gonna leave it in there just so you can see my kerfuffle. Um, so yeah, this is just an overall shot again. Um, I kept filming this area cause you know, I was really excited to see like what I, thought before was the turn of the station actually becoming the turn of the station. So as you can see here, lots of work on the Splashworks path, a lot of electri electrical work. Um, they're cutting up, you know, the pathway. So that's really exciting. I don't, I have no idea what's going on in this area. I can't wait for this weekend to come so I can go explore it again. I just want it to be Saturday all over again so you can be walking on the path, filming anything weird, new spray paint markings and all that. So you know I'm gonna be at the park this weekend. <laughs> so this is interesting. So in Timberwolf Falls, there were more markings. So I went through the um, queue line to Timberwolf Falls um, with Jasm and there were even more markings this time. So I'm even, I'm like, 
I'm just like lost. <laughs> but um, this wraps up this construction update. There is a really good construction update that Jasmine and I did together about the width of the tunnel, future support beams and footers for the Imolin loop or dive loop or whatever inversion comes out of that tunnel or even element. We don't know it's an inversion. We got a bunch of footage today on the tunnel. I think you guys are really going to want to see that because we think we may have just, you know, myth busted this whole, it can't be 10 across seating. So wait for that video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this to everyone and anyone. It would greatly help. I put a lot of time into this YouTube channel. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and then feel free to private message me if you have any comments. Um, or suggestions for this channel. I take everything really seriously because this is for you guys. This isn't for me. Um, I want you guys to enjoy the content. So feel free to give me any um, advice or uh, comments as to what you would like to see from us. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.